Hi there, Karen in here from Craftily Yours, excited to be sharing with you a design team project that I made for Cut at Home. Uh, the paper that I'm using for today's project is from the Tim Holtz Ideology line. It's the Wallflower Collection. I just got this paper pad today and it is gorgeous. It's filled with all sorts of beautiful patterns and flowers and butterflies and uh, it's a gorgeous paper pad. What I'm doing today is creating a little 6x6 layout uh, for a picture that I have with my mother-in-law's dog Daisy and my husband and it's this little picture here. Um, she's a bull mastiff and she's a huge dog and I just love this picture. She's a super sweet dog. So I cut a 6x6 piece, used some thickers to write her name, added a circle and some ribbon and I want to add this picture and of course I want to add a little frame to it so I cut a piece of coordinating paper using the Nest Abilities Label 8 and uh, you'll find out as you watch my videos that I love layers. The more layers the better and so one of the things I like to do is add a middle layer inside of the bigger layer and so to do that I cut another piece of paper the same size as the picture and then I just cut it in half and added some adhesive so that I could just add another tiny little layer on the edges and I love the way this looks um, because it just adds a little something extra so that when I adhere it onto the bigger piece it's got a cool extra layer in the middle. A tip if you decide to try this is to actually cut the little tip off because you don't want it hanging out in the wrong place and then you just put it down on the bigger piece of paper like that and you'll see that it's just got this real cool little teeny border around it so that when I put it down it really focuses your attention on the picture. The other cut at home product that I use today is the Elizabeth Craft Designs die flower set one and I cut some of that Tim Holtz paper using this flower set and layered it up. I you know, usually just kind of curl the ends of the flower with my fingers a little bit to add a little dimension and I'll add that here onto the layout uh, along with some ribbon and things that I got out of my stash to add this big daisy onto the layout. The final touch, I'll add some chipboard hearts onto the layout here because we just love daisy and so we have to show that with our little hearts. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by Cut at Home to check out these products. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.